Hello and welcome to email skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn a very good topic, which is uh, how to restore a single database or all the databases from the compressed backup of MySQL server using the MySQL dump. So this all demo will be carried out in four steps. First step is creating a MySQL backup user. In the second step, what we will do, we will create a passwordless connection for taking the MySQL backup. In the third script or in the third step, we will do a a backup of uh, all the databases so here I will say all the databases in the fourth step what we will do we will restore uh, all databases on uh, same server so let in the first step what we are going to do is we are going to create a MySQL user so uh, this demo is being carried out on uh, on uh, Linux system, so I'm already uh, logged into three, uh, uh, logged into it using the mobile XROM, and this is how I have logged in MySQL hyphen u hyphen root uh, hyphen p and the password. Password is MySQL at uh, one two three four. So in the first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a MySQL user. Since uh, this demo has been carried multiple times, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the MySQL uh, backup user at localhost, then I'm going to create it. It is just very simple, create user, and then uh, we will provide all the privileges which are required to backup all the databases on that particular uh, instance. So I'm just pasting everything in one shot, and uh, you can see that uh, MySQL backup at localhost is created. Now we'll create a passwordless uh, connection. So there's a utility provided for that. Uh, you can utilize that and the utility name is uh, uh, MySQL config underscore editor. And if I say print hyphen hyphen all, it will show me uh, the existing, uh, what do you say, the passwordless uh, uh, connection way. So first of all, let me uh, clear out, uh, let me clear the uh, editor which I already have. So I have removed it. So I'm going to create a new one, MySQL config editor set hyphen hyphen login path. I'll give a name, a string, then host is localhost and the user is MySQL backup. And uh, at the end, it, you have to feed in the password. And the password is MySQL at one, two, three, four. Once it is done, your uh, password lab this, uh, connection is done. So you just check it by saying mysql hyphen config hyphen editor print hyphen hyphen all. So you can see that uh, for mysql backup mysql user uh, an, an encrypted password is there and it will be able to log in with a particular string which we have provided uh, email to skills underscore mysql underscore mysql backup. So let's try to log in with this and if it is done we are done most of the things. Yes, we are able to uh, log into it. The next step, what we are going to do is we are going to take a backup of all the databases, and uh, the backup command is MySQL dump hyphen hyphen login path, and the login path which we created hyphen hyphen all hyphen databases. If you want to zip it, uh, zip it. Uh, if you don't want, uh, you can remove this. So this is, uh, since this is a very small uh, one, um, it is up to you if you wanted to use uh, uh, the backup or not, uh, it is up to you. So I'm just giving some uh, name. Okay, so uh, let's execute the backup. Before that, let's, okay, let's execute the backup first. Once the backup is done, what we will do is, uh, we will drop a couple of the databases and we'll see once it is restored, it should be able to uh, be uh, available. I'm waiting for the backup to get completed in the zip mode. So I hope uh, this is created, this is created. Yes, this is created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some of the databases. Let's try to log in MySQL hyphen U root hyphen P and filling in the password and just say show databases and we'll drop one of the database. Show database and uh, I have some test DB. Now let's drop test DB and we will restore. You can drop everything and then uh, restore it. 
not the uh, default databases, system databases, but uh, user defined databases. So we have uh, dropped the database and so test DB doesn't exist. So we are going to restore everything and we'll see that it should be available. Now for restoring all databases on the same server, you have to say gun zip, then uh, inwards MySQL, the, the complete location of the zipped file, then MySQL hyphen hyphen login path and uh, the login path which you created. Let's execute this one. Let's execute it from some other uh, uh, window. So I'm going to do it from here. There is a way you can uh, check the progress of restoration as well. The size uh, uh, would be uh, visible. I I think in one of the demo, yeah, this is uh, this is the command you you can use. And while it is getting restored, it will see the increase in the size of uh, each database. So this is one of the way. So you just have to fire this command, which is available on the screen. So this is a very small database, so there is no point in checking the restoration speed. But it is it is always advisable to do that. If it is a big environment, you you need to uh, check it continuously. And if you have enabled the bin logging, so you have to make sure that your uh, bin logging storage should not be full, otherwise it is going to stuck as uh, it has to write the changes which is happening into the database. It just takes a minute or so. Uh, let me show databases, still it has not because yeah. So I have to wait till this gets over. So just a recap of what we have done. It's very, very simple. Uh, you create a backup user. I'm not going to create, uh, I'm not going to use the root user, which is the super user. So it's always good to have uh, the different users for uh, uh, different activities, at least for the major activities. So I have created a MySQL backup user. Then I created a password let's connection so that uh, the user ID and the password are not exposed. In the third step, uh, we have taken a MySQL uh, dump backup of all the databases uh, using the login path. And uh, in the same step, we have uh, dropped one of the database and we are going to restore everything. If you want, you can restore the specific database, but just I've executed everything. Um, still it is going on. I think it takes a minute or so. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you wanted to check the uh, growth of your, uh, the way, uh, how it is progressing, you can uh, execute this script as well if it is a big database. If the size of the databases are uh, big, if it is a small one, then it's fine. By the time you will check it, it will have been restored. In my case, the size is not big, but the, the only problem is I used uh, the ZZIP just to keep the size uh, minimum and restore everything from uh, zipped file. So in one shot, it is going to unzip it and then going it is it is going to restore it from there. Uh, it takes nearly two minutes. So I'm expecting this to be over very soon. Uh, very soon. Let me exit out of this. It is a small uh, dump which has been uh, used for the restoration. In case you have to use it on, uh, uh, in, in one of the scenario, what I had done is uh, I have uh, refreshed my development environment with the production environment. I think it is over. So you can just say show databases and it should. Yeah. 
you can see the test db database has been restored and if there are multiple databases everything is refreshed so there is a drop database then there is a create database and uh, uh, for the tables also if it exists it is going to drop and then it is going to uh, recreate and insert all the data if you have to refresh it uh, your dev database from the production so I'll, I'll create a separate video although the steps remain nearly same if you drop the databases also it is fine if you don't drop the databases in that case also uh, the if you see the dump file it has uh, everything written in text so it will show you the drop database command will be at the top followed by the create database command and uh, insertion of the tables which are residing under that I hope this is going to be helpful and thanks for watching.